the first time I realized that art was sort of like a magical experience is when I think I was five and I for the first time was using wax candles and washing over with watercolors. It became a unveiling of a different art piece underneath this watercolors. It was so beautiful. I was hooked. It was my first art lesson. I grew up in Kazakhstan. It's a city called Almaty. It's right on the border with China. It was a very multicultural city with a lot of people from Russia and Mongolia and China. So quite a mix of inspirations happening there. Without even realizing, I think a lot of it comes through my work. First, a cultural change, a language change, um, and also leaving family behind. There's a sense of nostalgia. And I want to like fill in the gaps of questions I had about my childhood. There's this sort of West Coast culture merging in with Eastern European folklore, and sort of like they meet. And then my story is kind of like flanked in the middle there. Being an artist is being a good storyteller. I want to put as much stories, as, as much a feeling and as much energy into a piece as I can to make sure that every time I come back to this piece, I find something new. I really believe in like, don't buy an eraser. Always just keep working. And one of the tools that I loved the most was ink. And ink is unforgiving. And Black ink is you make a mark and the next mark is sort of like something that follows up and becomes um, a new piece or something that you sort of have to adapt to. There's no, there's no white out. When I look at my style, if I was going to describe it in more detail, I love to use the patterns as a way to express sort of color and concentration and contrast, but the patterns are also important, what, where the patterns are coming from and what they signify. Going digital, you can never really understand why you're doing these choices. You know, my motivation was maybe it's a more secure path. I think it was the fear of that an artist can't be successful, I can't be uh, can't sustain themselves. It was clear that this has, this was a tool. This was a good way to sort of carve out a path, carve out an understanding, a way of thinking, and a way of a way of problem solving that I couldn't apply when I was painting. I've done a lot of commercial artwork. And on the side, I was doing a lot of gallery work. So there's these two worlds that are just very different from each other. What I've realized is I love listening to other people's stories. It's kind of a, a beautiful experience being challenged with these concepts that I've never considered because it's not part of my story. My favorite part about my whole journey is that I'm still as stoked about art as I was when I 